Shelly. How are you doing, little buddy? Can you grow like a turtle? Nah, you're just a regular turtle. I always wonder, what is going inside that turtle mind of yours, though? I guess I'll never know. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I am wearing green. And why is that exactly? Because I am here to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is produced by Michael Bay. Not directed, produced. It stars Megan Fox, Will Arnett, and William Fickner. Going into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I know I would say a good amount of people were excited for it, but me personally, I was eh, just curious to see the film. It did honestly have my curiosity. And if you guys saw my rant, if you want me to do a little flashback. Megan Fox has casted in Ninja Turtles. Why? What the fuck? Mother? Motherfucker. Yeah. I was not happy with that. <laughs> I don't hate Megan Fox, I just hated the fact that she was casted as April O'Neil. Like I said in that rant, Anna Kendrick would have been a wonderful fit for April O'Neil, but no, we got Megan Fox. How is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Unfortunately, not very good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is just meh. It's not terrible, it's not good, it's just so and so. So to start off with my positives with this film though, one of my positives is definitely the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themselves. They are the only characters I care about, the only characters that were very interesting to me that had good characteristics. They definitely got the personalities of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right because I did grow up watching the cartoons. I love the cartoon. And I did see the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which was a lot of fun to watch. So they definitely nailed the personalities of the turtles, the spirit of the turtles, and that's what I truly respect about the film. At least they got the turtles right. And whenever the turtles are on, it's a lot of fun. Michelangelo is very funny. Almost everything he says is absolutely hilarious. When the Ninja Turtles are in action, it is awesome. And the action scenes themselves are really well filmed. Like, there are a few times where they shake around, but really, the action scenes are very fun. So because of that, the film is sometimes a lot of fun to watch. Very good filming on the action scenes, especially when it came to the avalanche scene. Shredder... I thought he was only interesting when he was fighting with his blades and shooting them at the Ninja Turtles. I enjoyed the look of Shredder, you know, he's a little more different, more robotic, but I mean how he looks is interesting and I like the blades on him. I know people complain about that, but to me, I don't I actually did enjoy what they did with Shredder. And Megan Fox's April O'Neil, it is technically considered a positive. She is definitely miscasted. She's not the strongest main lead, but she was decent. And Megan Fox at least tried in this role. You could really feel her trying in this film, and honestly, when she's on screen, I did feel that passion she had for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I'm not gonna go, oh, I hate her because she's Megan Fox and she's hot. Yes, she's hot. I can't deny that she is hot, but in the role April O'Neil, yes, even though there could have been a better casting, I could already accept the fact that she's April O'Neil. She did a decent job, and she honestly wasn't too bad. And the CGI on the turtles actually do look really good. Like, yeah, I do think the CGI on the turtles could have improved a little more, but I think for how they looked, they definitely looked like mutant turtles, and I thought the overall look on them it looks really good. So now that I got positives out of the way, let's get to my problems with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. One thing's for sure, other than the turtles, every other character is not very interesting. 
that includes April O'Neil. Yes, Megan Fox is decent in the role, and yes, she wasn't too bad, but the character herself is so bland because she's not very well written. Same could go to Will Arnett, who I think is a likable actor, but all Will Arnett does in this film is hit on Megan Fox because she's hot and he wants to go on a date with her. That's all Will Arnett does. He's just there to be a creepy son of a bitch. Will Arnett, he's wasted here. Good actor, but he really did not need to be here. And Splinter. Oh my god. Tony Shalhoub, who voices Splinter, very miscasted. The voice did not fit well with Splinter. And Splinter just looks so ugly. Every time Splinter shows up, I'm just like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. On the turtles, it looks good. But on a CGI rat, it fucking sucked. Shredder. Like I said, when he's in action, he's badass. He's really cool. The look of him is awesome. The character, however, is also very bland. Not interesting. And the same could go f for William Fickner, who works for Shredder, part of this Foot Clan thing. The storyline does not grab me. It's not very well written. It's very mediocre. The way the film is edited is so choppy and really messy. The pacing for the movie is rushed. I did forget to mention one last positive I did have with the film. I actually think the origin story, which is different, so I can understand people's complaints with it, but I actually thought the origin story for what they came up with with the film is actually really interesting. Now the storyline itself is not interesting, but I mean the origin story that they came up with was actually good. The movie just wasn't it wasn't executed very well, and it was just all over the place. Now, yes, I can understand why there would be kids that could enjoy this. I do think it's a kid-friendly PG-13 film for the kids to see. Some parents will have a blast watching this film. I can understand why there's going to be people that hate this film, and there's going to be plenty of that, but I can understand why there's going to be people that absolutely had a ton of fun with this movie. Both sides, either way, are understandable to me. This film is just so and so to me. So overall Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's sometimes fun, but it's hard to enjoy this film more when you have a storyline that's very dull, bland characters, the turtles being the only characters with interesting characteristics to them. Choppy editing, rushed pacing, and the execution itself just feeling messy. I am going to give Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Two out of four stars. If you enjoy this, that's good. Me, I'm just not a fan of it. It's okay, in my opinion. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.